So as per the eBay advertisement, this is the Swift Contiki 649. It's a Fiat Ducato engine, 2.3 multi-jet. Does around about 28 miles per gallon. Loads and loads of pulling power. This is the black edition. Personally, I think it's a beautiful van. Um, and I'll just give you a walk around, have a look at the wheels and tyres. As you can see, they're all good. There is no dents or scratches. see there, the tyres are good, there's a couple of little marks on it here and there that can actually buff out, but nothing on it at all that I would say couldn't be buffed out with a little bit of elbow grease. So it's got running lights at the top and down both sides, it's got adequate storage, it goes right underneath there and it's accessible from inside too. That's, uh, you can attach a water pump there if you wanted to have an external water source uh, or you can actually take water on board there. And there you've got, you can dump the water from, uh, from that tap there. It's got awning lights, a very large awning, which you can actually get some size for it and make it into a, a, a proper um, almost like a tent. There's a gas supply to the outside for a barbecue. Uh, I used a gas generated, a uh, gas generator should I say, uh, for doing wild camping is perfect. Uh, it is for sale separately, um, subject to uh, negotiation. And you see the tiles are good there as well. Deployable step, which we'll see more in a minute. Here we've actually got the unused carpet that was just put into my loft that goes right underneath there as well storage right in the back here this strengthens the awning when it's up and that actually winds the awning out now on the back here we've got a motorcycle carrier uh, i carried a 250 trials bike which was 150 kilogram uh, no problems whatsoever very easy to use this back bit becomes the ramp you just unscrew those put it on there wheel your bike up strap it to these and if you don't want to uh, have a motorcycle or put a, uh, a storage box on the back you can, which you can do of course simply remove it there in there both sides it takes less than five minutes to take it off then you've got a bicycle rack you can just pull straight down it takes four bicycles i would say two children's two adults uh, or three adults at a push You've got two cameras at the back um, as it's not got a rear view mirror it uses the camera instead um, also it gives you a nice close shot when you're reversing uh, it does have a tow bar as well which is retractable if you want to tow a trailer or a car trailer so uh, that's that um, here's your, your gas it will come with one small bottle uh, not both and that hose there is the external water hose, which is here. So uh, you just plug that in there and then you can uh, hose your dogs, your kids, your wellies, whatever you like really. Um, Thetford cassette for your toilet. And then we've got a large toolbox for all your essentials and cleaners. That's that. Um, and that's that.
from the outside. On the inside, it's not five bit of seconds, it'll make a bracket. I'm purposely trying not to have an edited video so that you can see that um, from start to finish you're looking around the vehicle. There you go, nice. It's fairly quiet. Put the seatbelt on, you can see there's no lights at all on. Handbrake, of course. Let's get that off. And there's the current mileage. 14,815, which is nothing at all. Okay, what's that? It does come with blinds on all the windows. Taking this one. And there's the internal mirror that looks back. So, and helps you for reversing. And uh, same again, we've got blinds either side, captain's chairs for both, and they both do turn around to face the other direction, both with armrests. So uh, again, you've got a front cooler, glove box, cup holder, um, 12 volt charge, USB, and if you want to plug anything into the stereo system, it does connect to your phone. There are also additional USB auxiliary cables there, along with an extra couple of cup holders, and a paper holder or map holder there, and an additional compartment there. It has got cruise control on this as well. Um, you can set your, your speeds, and um, that's that really. Uh, you have got additional reading lights and plug sockets as well at the front best probably for uh, the top bed there and that's all I can think of to show you on this I'll plug it back in and I'll take it around the back So we can deploy the step and go inside. Let's put some electric on. And there we do. There we have it. So this at back here turns into a king size bed. Um, this is our preferred place to sleep. Uh, as you can see it's got blinds all the way around these here we just had them in our loft bagged up um, and they're the additional bits you need to turn this section here into a double bed if you require it so this becomes a little table as you see Cabinets all the way around, and we've got a skylight there to look at the stars when you're laying in bed, which is very nice as well. LEDs, reading lights, all that kind of thing. We've got a TV which has got built in DVD player, it works off 12 volt as well as 24 volt. So if you're off site again uh, and you haven't got a generator, and you can just use it off the leisure battery, which has uh, been coming handy a few times. That extra storage uh, there's an end part there if you want to extend the table on the right there full-size cooker um, we've got an additional ring there which works when you're plugged in or again if you've got a generator going as well as a microwave um, all this works as it's supposed to you can see a sink with it's got a pump hot and cold water, uh, very powerful, and extra sockets, three-way fridge, so it runs off of leisure battery, mains and gas, a uh, little larder cupboard there, and behind us we've got a mirror and our wardrobe, we've got an external table if you want to eat in the awning, retractable aerial, and we've got a TV amplifier, 
and then we've got uh, nice compartments for your clothing in there. There's a solar panel up on the roof and uh, that feeds the leisure battery. There's also an air conditioning uh, unit built into the back here. Just keeps it nice and cool in the summer, which is very handy. That works off of uh, this remote control here. And yeah, very simple to use. So here we've got, actually got our controllers for our gas and uh, water, so we can control the temperatures. This is uh, where we control our electricity supply, whether it be leisure battery or mains, uh, and it gives you an indicator of where you're actually at with it and uh, how quickly it's charging from the solar panel. Okay, it's got blinds built in, even on the doors, uh, as well as five screens, which is very normal for our homes. And we've got this lovely bathroom. Okay, which is actually really spacious. I'm six foot three and I have no trouble at all having a really nice power shower in there. Absolutely cracking shower. Uh, hot and cold water there as well on the basin. Storage down there. Storage up the top there. Toilet roll holder. So, uh, and uh, the flush for the, uh, the toilet. And the skylight. If you want to look at the stars whilst you're uh, otherwise engaged. It's got little low level lights as well. It's just a really, really pretty thing. Um, additional couch there. And then we've got four seat belts on here and two at the front. So that makes a total of six seat belts. We've got an additional TV DVD player here. Um, so if uh, save arguments, you want to watch different things or if you've had an argument and you want to watch different things, perfect. More cupboards there, built in speakers again go back through to the front radio and then we've got an additional storage here that's the ladder uh, in that little red book um, pack we've got uh, all the manuals for everything on board. and here we've got a lovely big double bed and it is very very comfortable uh, my wife didn't like sleeping up there too much but I love it I actually really love it so that's that and um let's say we've got additional sockets that work when you're plugged in on site or using a generator um and what else can i tell you as you can see all the upholstery is in good order we actually always kept it covered up with blankets um say the carpet's never been put down and uh, that's the water trap there so you can just do an uh, inspect your water to make sure it's in there um, and as well as everything else, we changed the fluid for the, uh, which is a five year fluid for the heating. So that doesn't need doing, as you can see there, look, cost 250 quid to do that. Um, we've got fully stamped service book, just out of service, uh, 31st of January, same time as the MOT. Um, and that shows you the uh, current mileage on the MOT and that it was actually recently done, uh, which is there uh v5 and a habitation certificate there so all all recently done for you also two sets of keys so it's currently on finance with black horse uh, the idea is is as soon as we've got a buyer that pays a small deposit just so i know you're serious and turning up I will pay the outstanding finance off. I will show you proof that that is done. You will be able to contact Black Horse if you want clarification. Uh, however, I will have a, a, a letter and an, or an email to say that I've done that. Um, and then the finance will be cleared. I won't clear it until I've got a buyer though. Um, and that's that that I can think of for now. Uh, the starting bid is the lowest price I want. So if you do want it, please don't uh, message me and ask me how much I, I want. I, I've started at the price I, I the minimum price I'll st I want, um, and I'm hoping to get as much as I possibly can for it. Uh, these are selling for over seventy thousand pounds. Just about every motorhome um, company in uh, in the country that I've been looking at, they average around about seventy two thousand. So if you get this for any anything in this in the sixties, you're getting yourself a bargain. Uh, it's in good order. It really, really is. Uh, as you can see. Um, and 
that's it, I think. So, thank you.